Hey, what's up coach? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I've been uploading videos for the last five, six years. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have not talked to me yet personally and you wanna connect, send me a text. All you need to do is check the links in the description below. You can set up a, uh, send me a text there or you can set up a Zoom call with me uh, really whenever you want. Um, I have a schedule there, just pick a time, chat with me. And today I'm gonna to be talking about one of the things that I, I, like, I've talked about this before on my channel. I haven't really broken exactly how this is set up, um, which is what I wanna to do today. But normally when I have videos like this, these videos get way less views, but those who execute on this information, they'll, they'll end up doing better with their business. And, this is because like my whole business really is operated from email marketing, right? I capture leads. <laughs> it sounds like I'm a kidnapper when I say that, but I capture leads. <laughs> um, then I email leads. They're on my list. I own the information until they opt out and they don't opt in unless they're interested in what I'm selling, right? So this has helped me grow uh, my in-person soccer training business. This has helped me grow online soccer skills, which is a online training business. This is helping me grow uh, uh, soccer parent education, which is uh, another online business. This is also helping me grow um, another YouTube channel that I have. Uh, and this has been my kind of my bread and butter with this channel. It's you know, coaches watch my videos, they go to my website, they jump on my email list. I give them more uh, free information. I have convincing stories. I have um, all sorts of content that I give away for free on that newsletter. And without that newsletter, I would not be here continuing to make these videos, all right? I've built up a, a audience of coaches there. I've been doing email marketing, all right? Just to give you some, some uh, real context here. I've been doing emails for over 10 years now. I have written thousands of them. I have paid a lot of money to learn how to write email newsletters. Um, that's something I was really weak at when I started my business. And I feel very confident at this point, and, and this is no lie or exaggeration, but if I wanted to stop completely what I was doing and go work for someone, I feel very confident that a business would pay me right around $250,000 a year just to write emails for them, right? That's because of the experience and that's because also of results, right? It works. So emails are not boring. Uh, maybe writing them might be boring, but what's not boring is adding revenue, <laughs> right? So let me, you know, with all that being said, let me dig into how I believe these emails should be set up for success, all right? So first thing you need to do is you need to have a way of getting prospects to give you their email. That could be a content video that you put out. That could be a free trial on your website. That could be a paid ad that you run. There's a million different ways to do it. Um, it, it doesn't really matter to me how it's done, but if it's done right? So if you are doing that, then once someone comes onto your list, I break the emails into really three different pieces. So first at the top left, it's the story. So we have to envision who is reading our, our emails, all right? So if you're following my channel, all right, ideally it's probably parents that are opening your emails, right? So it's not like a bunch of kids that are reading them. It's parents that are opening the email. And if you are going to spend the time writing something to them, right? It needs to be interesting. It needs to be uh, thought provoking. They need to go away from the email feeling something. And this is what a lot of coaches do though. They'll say like three tips for playing better soccer. And they'll say one, two, three, do these three things. Your child will play better. That's it. There's, there's no substance to that email other than the, the advice, right? Giving away free advice is great. You can still build authority doing that. But what's better is if you actually connect with the reader, right? And you do that by storytelling. 
and telling real stories, right? Not telling some bull crap made up stories, right? That are fake, that, that you're lying. So where do you draw your stories from? Well, the easiest way to draw your stories from first is you personally. If you play that sport or with clients that you've already worked with, you can draw a lot of uh, inspiration stories from just that, right? Then you can start to tell stories about things that you've seen. So maybe games that you've watched or training sessions that you've seen. Um, you can tell stories about professional players that are playing on you know, the NBA playoffs or Champions League, whatever, it doesn't matter. There are so many different ways you can story tell, right? I could come up with unlimited stories uh, just based off of my own personal experience. That just comes down to sitting down, turning off your phone, stop getting distracted on Instagram, and just like do the work, all right? So part one of the emails are stories, right? And within the stories, we talk about the pain point that is relevant to the person who's reading, right? And this is hard to do, but you have to connect with the reader and talk about a pain point that we think and we know their child is suffering with, right? So, for example, a good, a, a good story to tell is talk about one of your previous clients who was getting a lack of playing time, and they were getting a lack of playing time because of fill in the blank, right? This will resonate with someone who's on your email list, right? And then, right, we talk about the solution, which is the last thing. And the solution is this player committed to our program for 12 months. They saw this transformation. This happened on month three, boom, boom, boom. Talk about their result. So we make the reader feel that, wow, if my child is not getting playing time right now, my child has, was in a very similar situation to this person that I'm reading about here. It gets the reader to connect the dots with your story and they feel something when they get done reading it. And ideally, we give them a call to action. So I put solution CTA, call to action. That is, you know, if this message resonates with you, text me at this number. If you're interested in one of our last spots in our program, respond to this message right now. Like give a clear action step that the prospect takes, someone whoever sees the email takes. And the reason why I love email marketing is because I, you can always tell your most serious clients to share these emails that you send on a regular basis with other parents that don't know you yet, right? That's just a simple text or a simple phone call. Hey, Miss Jones, I just sent out a really awesome email. Can you forward that on to Johnny's team, to all the parents, right? Doing things like that helps you grow your list way faster, helps you grow your authority way faster. And by doing something like this once a week, your business will grow if it's consistent. And it's no surprise. Like if you, if you like look in my deep inner circle of coaches that I've worked with, some of the people that are huge on Instagram, they're big online now. Um, one of the key factors is their emails. They're really good at writing. They've gotten better. They do this story pain point uh solution in every email and it works it draws in people to want to talk to you over the phone and the thing that you need to understand is the emails that you write if they don't connect with the reader you'll get zero response if you talk about me 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 i i i no one cares about that they care if you can help so by showing more examples of testimonials and case studies in your emails that is what draws in people, right? And if you don't believe me, go join my email list. You will see exactly how I write. A lot of coaches literally just copy and paste what I do and they plug it into their business and it works, right? Go join my list if you want, right? And the way you join that, all right? You see at the top of the screen, just go to buildmysportsbiz.com. I think if you go to the, um, if you just like stay on my website for 10 seconds, I have a pop-up that uh, shows up when you're on the screen, enter your name and email there, you'll join my list, and um, you'll start seeing the emails that go out every week. I send two or three that go out to coaches, they're free. Um, a lot of the information in there will help you grow your business if you just implement it, the same way these YouTube videos are. Um, but I have that, I treat that as its own content. 
um, that's separate from what I do on YouTube. So if you want more free information, go get on my uh, list, join it, just go to my website and uh, you'll be able to do that. And if you start writing emails, like if you haven't done that before, you're gonna suck at the beginning. That's normal, that's how I was. If you write one a week that goes out for the next year, you get 52 of these under your belt in year one, Think about how much better you're gonna be in year two, how much better you're gonna be in year three. And if that's a consistent thing, I expect your business to grow. Where a lot of coaches fail with this is they'll write like too many at the beginning and then they get burned out, right? So if you need help with emails, if you have a list of like 50 to 100 people, I, I really do think you could probably make an extra thousand to $5,000 per month without doing any extra work if you have a list of people, all right? And you go through it, story, pain point, solution, which is the offer, all right? Getting getting prospects on the call, close them in your program. That's it for today's video, hope this helps. Go to my website to uh, join my list, see you later.